in the last video we had an introduction on the components of the removable appliances and we studied that there are three components the active the retentive and the base plate so in this video we will be studying about the active component so the active components are the one that are ones which provide the forces for the tooth movement so in active component we have the springs the bows the screws and the elastics so in this video we'll focus on the springs so springs can be classified on two bases based on the number of helices and based on the support so based on the number of helices the, these could be simple springs compound helical and looped so say, uh, simple springs are the ones which uh, do not have a helix so this is a diagrammatic representation oops mm, this is a simple spring and to move it this could be the movement and the compound spring uh, is the one uh, in which in which helix is incorporated so this is the helix which is incorporated and the movement could be this way and the helical spring obviously it will also have an helix and the loop spring will be the one which will have a loop instead of spring so it will have a loop and this will be the direction of movement now the second classification is based on the support supported or non-supported so supported one is made from thicker wires to avoid distortion by the patient so this is made from thicker wire so that distortion does not occur and the non-supported one these are made from thinner wires so there are chances that they will be um, distorted by the patient thinner wire Okay, so, it's, so chances of distortion is there. So we'll study a few minutes later that why do we need thinner wire when they cause distortion. So uh, for this we'll study the designing of a spring. So this could be explained by a formula which is D is directly proportional to uh, P into L to raise L uh, cube divided by T raised to power 4. So here d is the amount of deflection that is the elasticity okay and p is the pressure amount of pressure l is the length of the spring and t is the thickness thickness or diameter of the spring so um, the effect of these variables it they can be explained um, on the basis of uh, three things first of all thickness or, or the distance of the spring so according to the formula if uh, the diameter this is the diameter if the diameter is double the deflection of, uh, that is the flexibility of the spring will decrease by 16 times that is the spring made from thinner wire will generate less force and has greatly increased flexibility so thinner wire less force more flexibility so why do we need more flexibility so uh, we need more flexibility to uh, make sure that the component uh, that is uh, the component we are making for the appliance it remains active over a longer period of time so the more the flexibility the more active the component will be and for means uh, it will provide force for a longer period of time and the second thing is that length uh, of the wire so L is the length of a wire so if we double the length of the wire we increase the flexibility of the spring by eight times okay so flexibility is also in, uh, dec uh, increased and the force will ob obviously uh, decrease so increasing the length of wire it will increase the range of action so we got an answer for a question that why 
do we incorporate helix incorporate helices so uh, the answer is that this will the helix will increase the length so when length is increased what will happen the flexibility will increase okay so it increases the range of action more range of action okay so we need uh, helices to increase the range of action now the third one is the pressure so here we have the pressure so this is the pressure so if we uh, double the pressure the reflection will uh, obviously double the reflection will double so uh, the pressure is actually uh, to be applied is on an average 20 gram per centimeter square of the root area of root area and it can vary accordingly to the number of teeth to be moved so now uh, when we started about the designing we'll proceed to the types of springs the so first one is the finger spring which is also known as a single cantilever spring so the wire which is used here is a 0.5 or 0.6 mm wire and uh, here we'll see uh, the length of each part of this component so here you can see this diagram this um, the free end this is the free end it is the active arm which is 12 to 15 mm in length and is spaced towards the tissue so this is 12 to 15 mm in length and this is the helix which has 3 mm internal diameter diameter and this is the retentive arm which is 4 to 5 mm in length okay now the positioning um, position is that the helix should be opposite to the intended direction of tooth movement which means that if you want to move the teeth to this side the helix should be on the opposite side okay and if you want to move the teeth this side the helix should be opposite side okay so this is uh, the positioning also uh, it should be towards the long axis like this so uh, construction we already learned that it is made from 0.5 to 0.6 mm wire and uh, next uh, we will study how to activate them 